Michigan Avenue, just three miles from downtown Detroit. What in the world is going on here? This is no movie set. They're not shooting an ad for Victoria's Secret. These girls are hookers. Get this, it's six o'clock in the morning. And the hookers, they're not your neighborhood crackheads. Is it pretty obvious these girls are imported? Absolutely, absolutely. A lot of them look like models. And they're blatant as hell. They strut around like they own the streets. If a simple wave doesn't do the trick, they'll crank it up a notch. It's an X-rated freak show. But if you're trying to make a living or raise kids here, it's not entertaining. It, it feels like we're getting dumped on. And it just, it, it makes me mad. I'm just mad. By 6.45, the hookers are nearing the end of an all-night shift. Suddenly, our undercover camera catches a bizarre scene unfolding. Men start showing up in Cadillacs, most with out-of-state plates. They buzz around, herding the women like cattle, right into the middle of the street. Before long, they're on foot, chasing the hookers around, hurling insults and threats. These women aren't afraid of the cops, but the men and the caddies strike fear into their hearts. So who are these guys, neighborhood vigilantes? Not by a long shot. Keep watching, you'll get the picture, and it's not a pretty one. Right now, let's back it up a few hours to the beginning of their shift. Hey, yo, welcome to Detroit, where the play is played. It's a Friday night at Michigan and Livernois. They start showing up around midnight. Neighbors have seen the men in the Cadillacs dropping them off. Are you starting to get the picture? The girls are all decked out in kinky outfits. They don't leave much to the imagination. Look at this. She's flashing cars, but why bother? Even with a top on, she's showing way too much for TV. Remember, this isn't some back alley. It's one of Detroit's busiest streets. And most of the sex goes on in cars, on side streets. People in this neighborhood are constantly finding used condoms in the street. And the police, you know, they either they can't do anything or, or they're not wanting to. I don't know which one it is. The police are out there, but let me put it this way. If this was a war, the cops would be General Custer. They're clearly understaffed and overwhelmed. See for yourself through the lenses of our undercover cameras. 1.20 a.m. The hookers have been out there for more than an hour. Detroit cops roll in and start writing tickets. Problem solved? Nah, the hookers keep right on rolling. A half hour later, the cops make a curtain call. This time, they fill up a paddy wagon and haul them off to the police station. They're under arrest, but not for long. Two hours later, they're back, out on bond. Now it's worse than ever. The circus goes on and on and on, long after the sun comes up. So why can't the cops just get out there and clean this up? I've asked and I've heard a lot of excuses. For one thing, Detroit has a $50 bond for hookers. But the cops say even if they did hold on to them, the judges would let them go anyway, because there just aren't enough jail cells. But you know what? The people who live around here are getting tired of excuses. Can you blame them? You don't see this in Dearborn. You're not seeing it in Livonia. You're not seeing it in Westland. It's coming here. And it's been going on for far too long. It's the same day after day. I first exposed this problem two years ago. My investigation got the attention of the Detroit City Council. They voted to double the fines and jail terms for hookers. People were telling me they're, they're witnessing sex acts in front of their houses. They're finding condoms in the street. My reports and even got national exposure on the Montel Williams show. That, no, now, this report has changed some of the things and the ways the police handle the reports, though, in, these, in, in Detroit. Absolutely, and we're not done yet. We're going to keep pushing. Welcome to Detroit, where we ride on chrome with 20 inch wheels and plus big bills and cell phones. And that's why our undercover cameras are out here again. Because two years later, Detroit still has a $50 bond for hookers. And not only is the problem still here, it's worse than ever. It needs to be cleaned up for the people who are trying to raise families and run businesses in this area. And how about the prostitutes? Aren't they victims too? Do you really think they want to be out here in these ridiculous outfits having sex with strangers? I can tell you this, wherever you see the hookers, these guys in the Cadillacs are hovering nearby. And it's clear from our undercover video, they've got some kind of hold on these women. <laughs> 